Hi guys, sorry about the last video being interrupted. Actually, I had a phone call from my town's cops lieutenant and apparently my ex had filed a complaint against me against me for a $25 necklace that I had. So, um, he thought I still had the back part of it and I didn't and he was basically I gave him back the necklace anyways, um, or what was left of it after he told me I could have it. So, you know, it's just, it leads me back to the point of the original video where I keep in my head going back and forth and saying, okay, this was, you know, part of it was good. He really did love me. He really did care about me. And that, what just happened right now, him being so petty about a $25 necklace, like it had three Herkimer diamonds in it. Really nice Herkimers. They were his grandmother's. That's fine. If he wanted those back, that's one thing. But he wanted not those back, he wanted the whole necklace so he could pawn it for $25. Um, he didn't really care about the Merkmers or whatever. Maybe he did, I don't know. But I know he just wants it for the alcohol money. And him going to that degree to call the cops and get the cops involved about it. Um, when, you know, it's really, it was a gift given to me from our first year anniversary. Um, and I've had it ever since, except for now. Um, so it just, it just shows me the truth behind the facade that he was playing. He was playing me the whole two years we were together, and I did not know. He played me good, and I will admit that. Because me being an empath and wanting to see the good in people, he knew that. And he knew exactly what to do and exactly what to say and his actions to make me believe that he was changing and he was becoming more of a caring and, you know person that was more interested in our relationship and where we were going in life and stuff when right now this end of the relationship and this quote-unquote tactic for me I just had to kind of laugh because I'm like wow that really it just it's so ridiculous that it's just hilarious and it just it really woke me up um it's what I needed to stop pining over the lost relationship I had because Right now, with that, it wasn't a relationship at all. It was just all mainly him. He did it. He went into it to use me to his own means. Maybe there was, at some point, some love there, but it was long lost. After he started having issues, and he didn't want to own up to his issues, and he kept putting them off and putting them off and putting them all, you know, on everybody else inadvertently and just saying he wasn't, um... I know he's a narcissist now, always has been. I do believe there's a negative entity attached to him, hardcore, hardcore. Um, I feel pity for him, I feel sorry for him. I'm just glad it just, I'm glad I'm out, you know, because some, half of me wanted to stay in there just for the fact of having a relationship and having somebody else, you know, and, and psyching myself out about the fact that it was a relationship and he did care. When in reality, he only pseudo-cared for me to the point where it cared for him somewhat. Um, in the beginning, it was good. But then when push comes to shove and it just started getting worse and worse and worse and he didn't want to own up to himself and the relationship and he just wanted to stay stuck and I didn't, that's when the severedness started happening. That's when we started pulling apart and things and he didn't like it and he started going internalizing. So, anyways, I'm just saying that, you know, this goes to... The fact that some of us, we get into these situations and these relationships with people, from family, friends, whatever, putting our own twist on it and not seeing the truth underlying everything. Um, so him doing that right now and being that petty about it just really showed me how what I was teaching him and what I was hoping that he would change did nothing. The two years that we were together and everything it was nothing I mean to the point where he could modify himself and grow himself and be a better person he didn't want to and that's fine you know that's up to him and I was originally putting on I went into it thinking that maybe if we could work together and grow as a person because that's what relationships are you start the relationship and you both grow as a person together you know you you with the good and the bad and everything and you get through it and I was just doing all the work and he wasn't really doing the other work he'd do a little work when he knew I would get pissed off and I might leave and then he'd do what he needed to do to keep me tethered 
classic narcissist. Um, smoke screens, ghosting, a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of different things. So anyways, now that being over with, I returned the whole thing and it really woke me up to say, you know what? I got in it thinking I was trying to find something in myself. I, I wasn't looking internal. I was working outside. And I really just needed to focus on myself and not have to worry about the outside. Because if I love myself and I'm true to myself and what I care about, the right person will come to me. And I, I was... I, I had waited about 30 years uh, for that person to come in, and I thought maybe that was him, but I looked at all the signs as they weren't signs, really. They were signs I made for myself because I was too tired of waiting, and I was too tired of what everybody else was telling me. Oh, you should... Yeah, I, I was too tired of seeing all my friends dating and getting married and having kids, you know, um, not realizing that that's not my path and right now or in that season. That wasn't my season I was in. Um, so, this just, it actually shocks me a lot. I really, like, I put so much energy into helping him out and doing everything, and it just kind of blew up in my face. So now I'm learning that certain, it's not, it's a big life lesson learning about how certain people in life will take from you no matter what and make it look like they're actually helping you and, and then respecting you when they're completely not and they're just using you to their own means. Uh, that's what it was. Like I said, here and there, there might have been genuine stuff, but overall, it was just a means to an end. And now he's getting into the nitty gritty where he's the, his walls are cl closing in, and he's 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 running out of time for what he needs to do to correct himself and get himself out of his hole. But he doesn't want to take the energy or do the work for it. And now he's gonna realize that everything that I did for him. Now he's, instead of going and being, oh my god, she actually did a lot for me, he's going outside of himself and blaming everybody else. Which, in and of itself, is fine for him and, you know, the people and the place that he's in. It's all the same. Um, he's living in the lower 3D realm. Um, I advanced my energy. I don't believe in the 3D realm of... Like, his philosophy was always, like, um, Hammurabi's code. Tooth for a tooth, you know, eye for eye crap. Um... And I don't believe in that at all. If somebody wrongs you, 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 you have to understand that they wronged you because they felt hurt in, in of themselves. So what we have to do is we have to be stronger and we have to be um, more resilient and we have to let that go. And it's kind of, it's to the point where you just, you know you're letting it go when you, you can laugh at the situation and you don't get like upset about it or hurt about it or anything. Because at first I was like, oh my God, he's going to the cops and filing a complaint against me. And then I sat there and I thought, this is hilarious. And then it clicked. It was like nothing I did or said meant anything to him. It was just a facade. It was a smoke screen. It was just to keep me there. Um, so unfortunately he won't advance. Uh, maybe he will eventually if somebody else comes in and like shakes him awake. But that's his choice. That's what he wrote into his chart. That's... And that's part of my problem. I mean, I went into the relationship. I know this. My bad. Trying to change him. Trying to awaken him. And it's, it's, it's not, I've learned this too now, it's not up to us to change people. It's not up to us to go and be like, okay, you're heading in a wrong direction. You're going to have this accident further down on that road. You need to divert here. It's not up to, it's not up to us to divert that car or to tell them that, you know, they, they should do this so they don't get into that accident. Because by getting into that accident down, hypothetical accident, accident down the road, that might shake them awake to the point where they realize they've hit bottom and they need to change. Or they don't. It's It really depends on their person. But they wouldn't be able to do that if they weren't put into that situation. Okay? And this goes back to another video I did about why we have certain situations arises and arising in our lives. Hardships and things. It makes us realize the different polarities of the situation and what we're grateful for and what we want to fight for. And what we don't want in our lives anymore. And it changes. Each season's different. Each season has different trees that are growing within us. Each season has different uh, topics that we, we like or things like that. And they all change. I mean, the only constant in this world is change um, and growth. So that's what it is. But anyways, I just want to hop on here and say I'm sorry for the um, part two, part one video thing. But that's because the uh, incident with the phone call from the cops because of my ex came in so but I am grateful that it's just that instead of some like weird 
reaction of him like stalking me or some crazy crap. I would not want that, you know. So I'm very grateful that it just ended up being this. And I give him back the rest of the part of the necklace that I had. And you know what? I wish him love, light, and blessings and that he can finally wake up. All right. If you're in a situation like this, guys, feel free to look inside yourself and don't be scared and get out. You are the one that controls the situation. You know it. You were by yourself before. You are only ever will be by yourself with physical, you know. We all have the God center within us, you know, and, and the God light or universal light or whatever you want to call it. But we are alone physically because we cannot actually be with the other person. And we came into this world physically separate from our mothers and things so we will still physically have that separation but that's why we have to look inside for us to become whole we cannot if we keep looking outside to somebody else that's not how we came in we didn't come into this world conjuncted with somebody else although that's a different thing physically but emotionally spiritually and all that this is where we gotta go we gotta go inside and, and it, it's getting intense but when you go inside and you truly accept yourself for you, then the right people will come into your circle. Um, and you got to start breaking out and doing the things that you wanted. That's what happened with me. That's what happened with the severing. I didn't like who I was becoming and I knew it. And I was getting more agitated, more depressed, more pissed off. And I didn't like how I was changing. And I didn't like how all the other people that I was around started moving away from me because they didn't like how I was reacting to things or doing things or not doing things or this or that. I became egocentric and, and more so into my center. I mean, more so into my, my brain center than my soul center. I wasn't living out of uh, love and gratitude and compassion towards other people. I was being consumed for the need to help others because I felt that that was my calling and in, in and of itself I needed to heal my own self of my own childhood wounds in order for me to accept myself more. I need to gain the confidence and this is also this situation has also gained me confidence. I'm a lot stronger because I know that even coming out of this I'm a stronger person and I had to put myself through this. Yes, I said that I had to put myself through this situation. I did because of my choices and what I own it. Okay, that's another thing we have to do. We have to own our responsibility. We can't. He didn't do it. I went into the relationship willingly. So did he. I can't blame him for all the crap that he didn't listen. That's him. I mean, that, that that's 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 on me. You know, I, if I went into it just letting him be him and not trying to, you know, knowing. I said a long time ago I would never date anybody who smokes and does uh, cigarettes and any drugs or any alcohol or any of that stuff. Always said it when I was a kid. And then I was like, okay, years went on, years went on, years went on, and nobody actually ended up coming to me or anything that. I had a couple people, mm -hmm. excuse me, but then they were all judging me, and so then I felt oppressed and that I would never get that experience. And so I settled for the first thing that came my way, and of course the first thing that came my way was a person who drank consecutively and was obsessed like that and had anger issues, um, and who smoked and did all the things that I didn't agree with but I was like okay this is I can change this I can adapt to it thinking that hey I wouldn't get another thing coming down the line I've waited this long I'm so tired I'm exhausted I don't want to wait anymore and that's on me I should have just waited because I just wasted well I didn't waste really um two years of my life with that relationship trying to morph it into what I wanted it to be and that's my problem um but there were a lot of life lessons in it and a lot of things that needed to be said and needed to be done and karma karma that needed to be cleared out. And so now I know the karma's cleared out and I did what I needed to do and he needed to, did what he needed to do and now we're on two different paths. So that is what it is. So anyways, um, just thought I'd go out here and explain what's going on so that, you know, if you guys are having a rough time or something, just know that you can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Just just grab onto that center thing that, that you know, that thing that brings you the joy and the stuff and just fight for it fight for it you know don't let that other person oppress you but don't get violent about it either necessarily because violence does not necessarily mean anything seek your higher spiritual self and your guidance or whatever you seek all right i'm gonna get going but love light and blessings everybody
Namaste.